So if you just tuned the, the video channel, let me give you a review of the previous chapters. So what's VDE? VDE is virtual distributed Ethernet and it's a networking, a virtual networking standard since 2004. So we are quite, quite uh, grown up. Uh, we support uh, uh, virtual distributed Ethernet is supported by KMU, KVM, VirtualBox, Yosemont Linux and many others. And in, uh, in the last uh, two years, three years, uh, we have uh, completed and rebuilt all the code. Uh, we have uh, recorded uh, everything from scratch. And uh, uh, VDA4, the new version, has many interesting features, but instead of uh, listing the features from the slide, uh, uh, I think that uh, we can see it in a more pictorial way. I've uh, depicted the, all the items, all the entities as uh, jigsaw puzzle ties, uh, and uh, each uh, uh, kind of uh, boundary is a different uh, is a different API or protocol. So the new idea is this, libvd plug 4, which is a library that is compatible, backwards compatible with all the tools, uh, virtual machines that are already uh, supporting VD. But on the same time, this uh, libvd plug 4 has plugins. And uh, so you can uh, use uh, VD to, to, to create virtual networks uh, using very different technologies. Uh, I, in my mind, uh, this kind of uh, LibVD4 uh, um, library is uh, something like the F SFP, the small form factor plug box socket. You mean? Uh, in your, in your uh, s physical switches, you have this kind of ports uh, that can uh, uh, have uh, some kind of transceivers uh, uh, that adapt this general purpose port uh, to your needs, uh, either uh, copper or fibers or whatsoever. Translate this concept from the physical world to the logical world, to the, victor, uh, to the virtual world. And what you get? Uh, so, um, you get this, but then we return back. You can have uh, a, a plugin that can be connected to a virtual switch. You can have a, a, a plugin which is a hub. You can have another plugin which is a switch. Or you can have a plugin which is null, like dev null. Uh, it's very useful, like dev null, because you can use this to this plugin to to change the behavior of a different uh, of a different uh, uh, tools. And you can have uh, a plugin which is a top plugin, so you can connect the virtual world uh, to the real world, to the uh, running operating systems, uh, creating by creating a, a virtual top interface. And uh, as you can see from this slide, let's have a turn back, uh, the new idea is that uh, you can uh, load and use each kind of plugin using a, a, a kind of descriptor, locator, which is similar to the URL for, for the web. You have uh, the technology and uh, a description, parameters, which are, which are uh, uh, specific for each technology. For example, there is the, the null, the, the uh, VD2 compatible form, the tap, the, the new VXVD, Slurp, and so on. So, uh, one interesting tool uh, is uh, the tool named the VD plug, uh, which actually is just uh, a tool which can have uh, a libvd4 uh, client and uh, a, a plugin and uh, converts all the communication to 
standard stream, standard input, standard output, so you can use uh, tool like uh, the double pipe to connect uh, to plugs, or you can have the plug uh, using two, having two slots uh, for uh, uh, LibVD plug uh, uh, entities to, con to create uh, a, a cable. But uh, I think it's, uh, it's nicer to to see examples, because uh, an example worth um, much more than a thousand words. Uh, word. so. Okay, look at this architecture. I wanted to, to connect two KVM machines uh, to a single tap. So, I create a tap uh, and I assign this tap to a user so that uh, this will be the, the, the single, the only command needing root access. Then uh, I connect the tap uh, to a plugin which is a switch. And now uh, I have uh, a switch which is uh, uh, represented by this uh, path. And then I can uh, run as many KBM, uh, KMU, virtual box machines connected to that switch, just by naming the name of the switch, the path of the switch, and uh, this is the archite architecture you, you gain, you have. Okay, so let's go on. We have much more plugins. You can uh, you have a plugin that gives the input to a program. We have a plugin that runs Slurp. Slurp is an emulator of networks. So using Slurp you are connected to the internet, but uh, the, all the uh, connection, all the network traffic coming from the virtual world appears to the world as if it were generated by this process. So you can connect your virtual network to the internet as clients without any root access. We have UDP, we have uh, Unisockets. For example, I want to run a KVM machine on my, uh, on my Linux box here, and I want this KVM machine to be connected to the world uh, using the networking of a remote machine where I have just user access. I have no root access. And I can do this just by a single command because KVM and uh, the, UR, the, the, the UVDL, so the, 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 the locator is command and inside the command I have uh, the, the command to run the remote VD plug. VXVD is a very nice tool because uh, it, is, uh, it creates local area clouds. Uh, I think that the best way to, to, to introduce you to the concept of VXVD is this sentence. Apps of the same multicast address flock together. So you can scatter your, your virtual uh, networking uh, Mm, your virtual network the application, your uh, virtual machines uh, throughout your, your local area network and as soon as you give uh, the same multicast address to some of them, they are connected to a, a virtual local area network. No infrastructure at all, zero configuration and uh, as uh, I showed last year, it, it is uh, as performant as uh, VXLAN, so it's fast. But uh, let us move on. This is history, and I, I've spent 10 minutes of my 30 minutes for history. Move on. Uh, we have VXVDX, uh, which is uh, VXVD, but uh, with uh, access control. We have uh, we have designed a nested pl with a plug, so plug where you can insert further plug, for example, encryption plugs. So you can use the whole infrastructure, you can decide whether to use VXVDE or, sl or Slurp or whatsoever, 
and you can add uh, uh, cryptography, you can play with, with virtual lines, uh, but, uh, okay, I think that the, 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 the most important new, new feature is this, VDNS uh, and a networking space, so instead of running an entire virtual machine, or instead of filing against uh, a lot of uh, comments, there is a very simple way to create a, a networking namespace where you can run your application. So you have the same kind of uh, uh, insulation from networking, from the networking point of view you had with uh, a virtual machine, but uh, it's, uh, I mean, just networking insulation but uh, it's very light. Uh, you can have this uh, VDNS uh, with uh, just uh, one socket and for example you can uh, create a networking environment to, to connect uh, your application to a virtual machine of, your, of yours uh, using a point-to-point -point communication. But uh, what is more interesting is, uh, uh, okay, that uh, you can use uh, merging the two concepts, uh, the local area cloud and the VDN space, uh, you can create a network of nice spaces. Uh, so you can have uh, processes into uh, networking nice spaces running all over your, your local area network and they are connected together on, uh, on virtual networks. So, uh, you can uh, have, uh, if you are a data center, you have, can have uh, processes of your customers running where you need them, where, uh, where the, your, load, your load balancing policy says that it's better to run them and uh, they are connected together in a transparent way. But, uh, as you can have VDNS uh, with one socket, you can have VDNS uh, with multiple sockets. So, this can, can be used uh, to connect uh, virtual networks together. So, using standard, standard tools, uh, IP tables to, to masquerade uh, the IP address uh, or to, to pour up packet uh, filtering, shaping, uh, uh, DACP, DACP servers, and uh, you can run all this stuff uh, into a namespace, and in that way, this kind of namespace became a uh, virtual network function. So, you, you, you connect virtual networks, you add uh, uh, networking management, uh, networking uh, processing functions, but the new point is that you don't need the new tools, you don't need new software, because you are using all the stuff which is already in the, your Linux kernel. This is uh, a, a kind of uh, an example. Uh, if you want to connect your stuff to the internet, on one point you have to connect uh, your, your entire infrastructure to the internet. One point, maybe more points. Okay. Uh, in this example, I've connected this box uh, using TAP uh, to a VDNS multi which has two different uh, sockets. One is connected to the top, uh, the other is connected to a local area cloud, uh, and this is connected to another router, shape, uh, whatsoever, and uh, this uh, creates uh, a second layer of networking to uh, virtual machines uh, other than <coughs> other, sorry, <coughs> other namespaces or what you want. So, uh, <clears throat> mm, 
I've told this, you can run all this stuff to, uh, let, me, let me start from this, then we return back to, to, to the demo, to the final demo. There is a physical network, you have a firewall, routers, switches, switches, and uh, machines. So this is the day zero of uh, network virtualization. Then uh, the second step uh, was uh, to have virtual machines. Virtual machines, uh, you need to connect the virtual machine. Uh, what is in yellow is virtual. So you have virtual machines run uh, connected to virtual switches. Our old VDE switch or uh, uh, VStack or whatsoever are virtual switches. Into uh, a Linux box, I put uh, I, I put uh, Tux to to remember the, the the operating system, and the remaining part of the architecture was uh, physical. So, network function virtualization. You have uh, uh, function like routers, firewalls that can be processes instead of uh, uh, physical uh, devices. And this is uh, a, a, a step uh, towards generalization, man maintainability, because uh, uh, you can update this, uh, the, 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 the firmware, let us say in this way, of this uh, router uh, in a very simple way. It's a general solution. But, uh, the step, the further step, is uh, to completely decouple the physical structure from the logical structure. All the switches, there are switches in the physical uh, world uh, which are completely related to the switches in the virtual world. You don't have any virtual switch uh, at all because they are distributed. VXVD creates the local area cloud. And so you have uh, the firewall, which is uh, a, a uh, virtual network function running on a namespace. A router, which is another virtual network function in another namespace. And you have namespaces and virtual machines uh, spread, uh, scattered all over your data center. This is the point. Uh, so, I have the slides. I could try to do it, do it, do it, to do it live, live. So, I get the risk of demos. So, uh, okay. Uh, I'm, oops, yeah. okay, F first of all, I have, how many, 10, okay, problems, okay, uh, first of all, I have to set up the gateway to the internet, uh, oops, to, to set up the gateway to the internet, I have to create the TANTAP. First time it needs. So I create the TANTAP. Now, alongside all, uh, uh, all my uh, uh, interface, real interfaces on my laptop, there is TAPR. So I did the standard way to create uh, a, a networking infrastructure all the way. So I create a bridge, uh, so I bring all the interfaces of the bridges up. Uh, I create uh, a, uh, I give an IP address uh, to my bridge, uh, and this is the old way to create uh, the connection to the internet. From now on, I'm working on only using VDE, and you can notice that because uh, this, I will not use uh, as you do anymore. The first thing I do, I start this with ENS, uh, okay. 
let me show you the command before uh, before typing return. Okay. Okay, this is the command. We need a space, uh, multiple interfaces. So please uh, look at simple is the, the, the syntax. First, uh, UVDL, uh, tap to pair. So the first interface is connected here. The second is connected to this uh, VXVD network, VXVD virtual network. Uh, so I could add uh, other locators and I'll just have uh, a namespace with having as many interfaces as you need. Okay. Uh, there is uh, a quite long prompt uh, because uh, I'm a user. I'm a user, but uh, I've entered a user namespace, uh, and it, inside the user namespace, as a user, I have uh, ambient capabilities. So now I have uh, the, the, the ambient capability to bind service or to create uh, sockets uh, and imports less than 123, 1023, sorry. I can create broadcast, but more important, I am net, net admin. So as a user, I can create, uh, uh, I can uh, give uh, IP addresses, uh, define uh, uh, routing and so on. And it is what I'm going to do just now. So, uh, as you can see inside, uh, inside the space, uh, I have just uh, three VDE networks. This is connected to the top, this is connected to this network, this is connected to that network. Now using standard uh, standard uh, uh, configuration uh, configuration commands as a user I can uh, bring up the networking and uh, okay it is working I can uh, ping uh, my bridge but now I can use the standard stuff uh, and this is the simplest, simplest example I have in mind. So create uh, uh, nothing, creating a, a masqueraded, masquerading router. Using the standard command I used on, on, on a real Linux box. So I have uh, uh, enabled IP forward <coughs> and I have uh, using IP tables I have uh, added a rule saying that all the traffic uh, routed towards uh, VD0 must be uh, must be nutted masqueraded okay so I can create uh, another This window actually is on my laptop, but uh, this window could be the window running, a shell running on any other uh, host of the, of the local area network. Uh, okay. Uh, I forgot to, I have to give an address. Uh, uh, let us say that the network 10, 10, 10, we are in Brussels, so 1010 is quite uh, is quite famous. So 101010 is the network uh, uh, connected to the virtual network, the VXVD network. So we can create a VD in space uh, on the other machine connected to the to that uh, virtual network. Uh, bring up the interface, give another address, but uh, now I use a static address, but if you have a, a DHCP server on, on, the, on the virtual router, you can have your address provided in a, in a dynamic way. Create this, uh, and now I am connected. 
uh, up uh, here. Okay. Uh, if I have just one more minute, uh, let me see if uh, uh, actually I, maybe I'm not connected with the, the entire machine to. Uh, to the internet, so if down Wuland, uh, uh, I'm connecting my laptop to the internet. Uh, uh, I hope uh, there is a Wi-Fi available here. Okay. Uh, let me see. It is not working, but there is some some trouble somewhere. Anyway, it should work uh, because uh, in I I wanted to to there is something for sure, I, I forgot something, but the idea, uh, I was uh, on an internal machine, I had to cross uh, this uh, and entering the network. I can assure you it works, uh, and in this way, you can have the, 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 the gateway to the internet. This is the only part uh, in which you, can, you need to be root. All the other stuff uh, can be can be uh, implemented, can be logically inter uh, implemented as user. Okay, that's all. Uh, are there questions? Time for one question. So, are there any questions? Please. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the question for Can the benefit of... Because uh, I, I'm uh, hardly... Lit. So, uh, the gentleman was asking if the slides will be available afterwards and if there will be a way to repeat the demo afterwards because he's super interested. Uh, two times, uh, yes. Uh, are the slides are already available on the, on the page of this presentation at Postum. So, you can have the slides quite just now. If uh, you have time, uh, we can uh, we can have uh, a, a demo side by side uh, using uh, a table around at uh, Forstum. Okay. Super. Uh, yeah. Everybody is interested. I can give a public demo. So it's time for one more question. Why ten? <laughs> so ten, ten, for ten is a famous character of a, of a uh, cartoon. Uh, which is famous. The, if you go around Brussels, there are uh, uh, entire walls uh, painted with the, the, all the customers of this uh, comic strip. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much.